What you also have a pretty big credit card business. Yeah. So you have a good window into spending habits. What does that look like? It's spending is still good. It's still positive. Um, it's certainly come off. And I think September in terms of the softening of the growth and demand is in evident. The numbers more in the whole system are about 4% of spend growth as opposed to the double digits we're seeing in the recovery. Um, services still getting a fair amount of that spend over goods. So travel has been good. Our great partner American Airlines had a good summer. Um, every, we've seen that in uh, businesses and entertainment. Um, foods has been strong. Obviously, with the rise in gas prices, being a bit of pickup there. But it feels more like a normal environment again. And we are paying attention to the lower FICO consumer where there are cracks. And we saw that in the Fed numbers. Savings are down. Um, they're, yep. they're very low at the moment. And I think some of the, the excess savings from uh, the, the COVID years have, have, um, are getting close to depletion. So where does all of that leave us? Do you think that they, the Fed can stick the landing without a recession? Is that possible? Look, all the numbers right now would suggest you're in for a soft landing. There wouldn't, the, the inflation's coming down. We're about halfway to where we want to get to in inflation. Um, that when you look at it in terms of unemployment and job creation, you look at the GDP, all the indicators are a soft landing. So what gives everyone pause is probably history. History would suggest that second half is a tougher half to achieve in the numbers than the, than the first half of that. On inflation. On inflation. However, I, we're starting to see the economy do some of the work of the, for the Fed now. Um, so it's we, softening. It's, it is definitely softening. Um, and if, the, if we start seeing another few sets of data in the coming weeks, then I think that will make the Fed's job easier. But you don't sound quite as negative or as worried as, as Jamie Dimon, for instance. No, I, think, I do think the recession, if there is one here, is going to be very manageable. So it's been elusive so far, uh, but I am not sitting there worried about the health of our consumers, worried about the health of corporates. They are strong. They're in res their balance sheets have been very resilient, and a strong job, uh, job market is also a good thing. I also sitting on top of a global franchise, so I compare that to our European colleagues and the European economies. That was a tale of two Europes. The industrialized nations were doing very, were doing very poorly. We were very worried about them. Whereas the service-driven economies, the Italy, the Spain, had a good summer. A lot of most Americans seem to turn up in Europe this summer. <laughs> um, that's that the, the malaise is starting to filter into those economies as well. So we're worried about Europe. They've got structural challenges in terms of labor market and in terms of energy that the U.S. doesn't face. And then in China, you know, that's been a lot slower than even those of us who are a bit more concerned about their economy. And I, they were obviously facing economic headwinds you know, in, the, in the coming quarters as well.